here it is, the uh, Kubota KX033. Um, brand new, well it's got about seven hours on it, so pretty much brand new. But there, yeah, I'll chuck it on the truck, take it home. I just have two buckets in the back there, but I'll I'll just tip them off over there.
Archie, but uh, it's alright once I got up there. Couldn't um, fit those buckets on with the excavator, so I've just got um, Mark with the other truck coming, um, and they're going to chuck it on, chuck it on him. So I've got the excavator on, ready to do some work with it. Looks pretty good. Pretty much got a three-ton combo now. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, these guys at Source Machinery were really good. Um, I pushed them to get it early as possible and yeah, they, they helped help me out. So, no, it's good. So there it is in my shed, the new toy. So um, yeah, I'll be giving this a test run very soon. I've got a job where I have to dig out stumps, so that'll give me a good play with it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a um, nice looking machine. Hopefully it uh, does a job, which I'm sure it will. So yeah, I'll, um, yeah, give you an update, see how it goes. But, yeah. <coughs> the machine feels really responsive which is good so I mean this is my first excavator um, and yeah I just wanted to get an easy machine to work with 
um, that will do the job, you know, so should be good. So I'll just uh, talk a bit, a little bit about this um, Kubota KX033. Um, this has got the 24 horsepower engine, um, so it doesn't have the um, oh, emissions and stuff like that stuff on it, the DPF and that, which is good. So it's got less horsepower. So less horsepower, but um, the hydraulic system in it's uh, a lot better, and I think it's a little bit bigger uh, than most others. So you got the Clark excavators, uh, Bobcat which um, they run a Kubota engine anyway. So um, there's a lot of Kubota stuff out there you wouldn't know um, hidden within other machines, which is why I chose Kubota. Um, and plus they're Japanese made. I mean, you can't go wrong with Japanese stuff. I've, um, I've had Toyota Huskies for a long time and touch wood that nothing's ever gone wrong with them. You know, they're just, they're such a great machine. So I thought, um, yeah, Toyota don't make excavators well not that i know of it here in australia but um i thought i'd go the kubota and give it a crack so i'm hoping this thing does me well and um yeah it's a nice machine it's not a zero swing machine but that's okay i mean i'd i won't usually have it in tight spots anyway but uh, i mean it's pretty compact for a three i think it's 3.3 .3 ton so yeah no it's pretty good spotlights up there um there's a light on the boom just here I will be looking at a thumb shortly, but I'm going to test it out on a couple of jobs first. Um, but definitely for when we collect like bush and trees and stuff like that and stumps, a thumb would come in handy. So I'm just looking around at sort of the prices of them at the moment. Um, some aren't cheap, some are, but I would probably prefer like a mid-range one just because I don't want something too cheap that's going to fail on me. But yeah, pretty good. So the other thing that's pretty cool on this is the control panel here. Um, you've basically got your settings, um, you've got a log history, uh, lift warnings, auxiliary, so you can choose auxiliary that you want. Um, it's telling me to put the down, thing down, but yeah, information, um, other stuff. It won't let me do anything because I haven't got the, the lever down. This has to be down. Like that. Yeah. But um, it's a roomy open cab. I didn't go closed cab because obviously they're more expensive and being my first excavator um, I didn't want to go too far too all out with it but yeah it's a, it's a nice machine I really can't wait to use it the other thing I like about the Kubota is um, the it's got a manual hitch but I mean it's so easy to change it's literally just this pin here um, just comes out and you can easily change buckets so the way it works it just sort of folds out and then you sort of fold it back into the other bucket slap a pin in here and away you go you know so i mean uh, the quick hitch was going to cost me an extra three and a half grand and i thought oh stuff that um yeah i'd rather save the money and get get a thumb or something like that something that's going to be more useful so yeah 